Well, Hurricane Florence is lashing the Carolina coast this morning. We've seen it there in those live looks we've been showing you with destructive wind and rain and naturally people not directly impacted have the urge to help however they can. But Fox 5 I teams Dana Fowl says you don't want to become a victim yourself. So important. Dana. Yeah, and if you plan on chipping in to help those in need, you got to make sure your donations are getting into the right hands, not the hands of scammers, because folks, they will be out. They always are after natural disasters like a hurricane. They know your heartstrings are going to be tugged when you see pictures like these. So I'm going to give you a lot of lists this morning. And let's start here with signs that a charity is less into giving than it is into taking. First, if the group asks for cash or money wired, you say no thank you. Are you feeling pressured to donate? Listen, walk away. If the details like tax exempt status or the mission statement seem a little sketchy to you, pass. If the charity's name is very similar to a well-known charity, this is when you have to be suspicious. This is what you do next in that situation. You use one of these resources to vet the charity. There's the Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance. There's Charity Navigator. There's Guide Star. These are well-respected resources. And then, in fact, on this BBB site, this is an example where you can just pop in the name of the charity you're considering giving to and it'll let you know if it meets traditional standards or not or if it's a group they've never even heard of. So what you have to do, folks, is some due diligence. Thank you for giving, but make sure it goes to people who really need it. Okay, now some people prefer, Dana, to give things rather than money. And so that, <laughs> folks, is a really bad idea. I'm sorry. Too many people send things that they don't need. It's like you're emptying out your closet or something. For example, they get lamps, evening gowns, high heels, winter coats in, you know, 95 degrees. Mm. This ends up on runways. It's got to be stored oh, in goodness. warehouses. It takes manpower to do this. So please give money to reputable charities they will find out what's needed like bottled water baby formula and they will deliver it themselves so this is not the time to like clean out your attic or your no, basement that's and, and not send what this, it their this way. is not right. you know fall cleaning that's okay. not what this is for <laughs> good they, to know they need supplies that these charities know they need right right and going back to something we talked about earlier dana it's it's a such a good idea to check the better business bureau website because if, if they don't have information on a certain organization no and i will be, tell you a lot it's not unusual for folks of celebrity or just folks who mean well to say i want to do something and start a charity uh-huh it's so much harder to do than you think it is. It's not the time to be starting a charity just all of a sudden the like that in right. the middle of it. The, the, this takes some expertise. Okay. Just, just stick with the folks we know for, yeah. for now. And like you said, thanks to those who give. Makes oh my difference. goodness, thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. All right, Dana, and thank mm -hmm. you for bringing us this. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it.